Markets in Asia this morning had a shaky start with losses following the collapse of two U.S. banks. The federal government has stepped in to run those banks while the Biden administration is trying to shore up confidence in the banking system. Jared Hill has more. It was a wild ride for the markets yesterday after federal regulators took control of California-based Silicon Valley Bank and New York's Signature Bank. Both collapsed between Friday and Monday. The shockwaves caused trading to halt for more than a dozen other regional banks yesterday after their stocks tanked. Americans can rest assured that our banking system is safe. Your deposits are safe. President Biden tried to project a message of calm while assuring folks with money in both failed banks their dollars are safe. Do you have any questions? FDIC officials greeted customers lined up outside of SVB's headquarters in Santa Clara, some withdrawing everything. Learned my lesson and we're not going to put the money all in one uh, place uh, like I did here. Silicon Valley Bank had more than $200 billion in assets, many of them tech companies. The CEO and co-founder of Rad AI, a medical technology technology startup says the government stepping in will probably save his business. Not knowing whether or not the company you've spent five years building was going to go away overnight as a result of something unpredictable as a collapse of a bank was really hard. Signature Bank's assets were about half of SVB's. President Biden on Monday said while there's going to be help for folks who put money in the bank, for investors and owners, there will not be a bailout. CBS News has learned Silicon Valley Bank was operating without a chief risk officer for months. One was hired in January. Jared Hill, CBS News, New York.